I didn't know Judge Moskowitz prior to this hearing personally. I understand he has a good reputation. Uh, I don't believe that he was, um, uh, we didn't pressure him to do anything. Um, there was a, it was a complex deferred disposition to do. Um, the case was very contentious and we were seeking, and Mr. Sinini's instructions to me as his legal counsel were to protect the children at all costs. And to, um, in order to do so, we asked for certain restrictions in the process, and that was relating to the witness statements only. It was not to exclude the press. I learned that a witness was expected to testify, and I was advised of some of the things the witness was expected to say, including statements relating to the witness's young children. At the beginning of the hearing, uh, I reminded the folks from the television media of the Supreme Court's administrative order concerning the recording of the testimony of witnesses. And the folks from the television media were very understanding of the administrative order and were completely respectful of that, and I thank them very much for that. I also ordered the media present to refrain from reporting the specifics of the witness's testimony. I did this in an effort to protect the witness and her young family. It is now clear, and certainly very clear to me, that this particular order was not lawful, and I should not have ordered the media to refrain from reporting what was said by the witness. That order, it seems to me, was void ab initio, but to any extent that it's required at this time, that, in, that order is now rescinded whether it's needed or not. It seems to me it's not because that order seems to be void ab initio. Now, um, Mr. Dolan, I believe, is here, and I'm very, he is, and I'm very glad that he's in attendance. I want to take the opportunity that I have now to apologize to Mr. Dolan for placing him in a very awkward position on Monday. Uh, and I appreciate the professional way in which he's proceeded since then. Now, in order to rectify the error that I made on Monday, I'm ordering that a transcript uh, of Monday's proceedings will be made available to the public as soon as possible, and I'm hopeful that the media will be respectful and kind with respect to the interests of the minors mentioned in the witness's statement. All five of the initial charges, including all four felonies, were dismissed. After two years, the misdemeanor charges will also be dismissed. The individual is not a victim in either of these two charges. The statement read by this individual in court was replete with misrepresentations and falsities. She was careless with the truth, and in a courtroom, truth is everything. Mr. Sneni elected to have his legal counsel make only a brief and limited response so as to protect the interests of the children. The transcript of her statement is now public. Because Mr. Sneni did not make a full response through counsel, and if there are questions regarding these allegations, Mr. Sneni will appreciate the opportunity to respond to the media further. Mr. Sineni looks forward to continuing his successful law practice, to restoring his reputation as a successful and prominent attorney in this community, and most importantly, to the reunification with all three children this Friday and to return to their home together.